was his relationship to his mother as a child and as a grown-up? Um, well, he adored his mother. Um, he didn't really have a father because uh, he was an illegitimate boy. Um, Ellen Terry, his mother, the leading actress of the Victorian stage, um, uh, had a five-year relationship with a man called Edward Godwin, who was a famous architect. And they had two children together, and the younger of the two children was Edward Gordon Craig. So he was essentially always brought up by his mother, and he was really mummy's boy. Uh, and he adored his mother, both as an actress and as a mum. Um, and so consequently she also doted on him, her only boy, so consequently uh, she did everything she could to help him. And when he was 17, he was very good looking and uh, he thought he would like to go on the stage. So she persuaded Henry Irving, who was she, was, she acted with Henry Irving's company, uh, to let little Edward Gordon to, to act. And he then acted a number of plays for about eight years and created quite a good impression for himself. So consequently, uh, he was an actor acting with his mother. And there was a great moment when he had to pick her up. It was um, a play called Cymbeline by Shakespeare. And she was playing Imogen, and he was playing uh, a young lad, Arverigus. And there's a scene when it's thought that uh, Imogen has died, uh, and so he ha she has to be picked up, and Gordon Craig picked up his mother. She was quite heavy, but he said, in fact, uh, it was, she was as light as a feather when he picked her up. So, so that was the first thing uh, to, to start with. As a boy, uh, he and his mother got on very well. When he started to direct plays, uh, he relied on his mother in a different way. He wanted finance, and so she provided the money for many of his early productions. Uh, she was very happy to do this. Uh, he perhaps took a little bit of advantage of it, but nevertheless, uh, he, uh, she did finance at least five uh, of his early plays. Um, she died in 1928, uh, and five years later, he wrote this book <clears throat> about her, uh, and you can see the title, it's called Ellen Terry and her secret self. And Craig said that his mother was known to the world <clears throat> as a great actress, but he knew her as a woman. And so what he tries to do in that book is to show the difference between the great actress and the human being. Um, you said that Obviously, Ellen Terry was an actress. Did they move around a lot together? So did that disrupt like his childhood and the sort of sense of making friends and bonding in a community? Or did, did they just stay in one place and go to the same theatre? They tended uh, to stay in the same theatre uh, for most of the year in the Lyceum in London. Uh, that was where, where Irving had his company. However, uh, for at least three months every year, they did tour. And uh, when he was a little boy, uh, Craig toured with his mother. The most interesting thing was when he went to America. He went to America twice with his mother, um, and she persuaded him. He was only six and eight uh, during that time. And uh, she then persuaded him to come on the stage as a little boy in two plays, actually. Uh, and so he got his first experience of acting in America uh, as a non-speaking part in one of his mother's plays. Do you think that that gave him a big like taste for? I think it. Uh, I think it did. I, make it big. Yeah, yeah. I, I. I think so. Yes. I. I, th I think that's true. Yes. But of course, the theatre that he acted in was very different from the theatre that he talked about in his books. Because, of course, he was, although he admired Henry Irving greatly, uh, he uh, thought that theatre should change and be different from this rather pedestrian uh, Victorian theatre. And so he spent most of his life, in fact, um, going against uh, his early experiences on stage. What about his school life, his education? 
Ah, oh, now this is really quite interesting. Um, he uh, was educated as a little boy by uh, his nanny, um, and then he was sent to a public school, Bradfield's College uh, in England, and he hated it uh, and eventually got himself expelled. Um, and so he was then sent by his mother uh, to uh, what I suppose we call a crammer today uh, in Germany. Uh, and uh, and he enjoyed that rather more, partly I suspect because he went out and took, got the odd drink in the evening and no doubt smoked a cigarette, uh, that sort of thing, as, as boys do.